Aloha. I wanted to welcome you back to the flight deck. Before we land, I want to give you a little bit of an insider's view of our new generation Boeing 737-700 aircraft. And there's no better place to start than right here in the cockpit. On board is a state-of-the-art avionics system that utilizes flat panel liquid crystal displays to provide us with all the information that we need to fly the airplane. At the beginning of our trip, I said this aircraft operates higher, faster, and farther than the 737s on our inner island flights. And that's true, and here's why. First of all, the wingspan is more than 17 feet greater on this aircraft than on our inner island 737s. That provides better lift, higher efficiency, and it allows a far greater fuel capacity. Working in conjunction with the high-performance wings are clean, quiet, and fuel-efficient new engines. Together, they furnish longer ranges. To give you an idea, the 737s in our inner island fleet can easily get us to nearby Johnston, Midway, and Christmas Islands, even the Marshalls. The new aircraft, however, are designed to fly up to 3,800 miles, so Hawaii and the West Coast are well within our range. The engines, by the way, more than meet all federal noise and emission standards, making our skies quieter and cleaner. From a pilot standpoint, the 737-700 is a real pleasure to fly. Well, it's been great having you on board. We hope you share the excitement we feel here at Aloha about our mainland service. And we hope that you've enjoyed the flight with us today. Mahalo and ahui ho. Until we meet again, aloha. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes, we will be landing at Rorotonga International Airport, your gateway to the beautiful Cook Islands and the many attractions of the fabulous South Pacific. We want you to enjoy your stay from the moment you arrive, so we have prepared this brief video to assist you. Rarotonga Airport is a warm and hospitable hint of what you can expect from the people of the Cook Islands. The entire island is only 32 kilometers in circumference. The airport is no more than 20 minutes from anywhere on Rarotonga, and a good way to get around is utilizing the local bus service. Avarua is the main town on the island and the commercial center of the Cook Islands. Rarotonga's visitor center is in downtown Avarua. The Saturday morning farmer's market welcomes locals and visitors alike. Besides locally grown fruits and vegetables, a variety of handicrafts is available. You'll need New Zealand dollars to shop here. Rarotonga welcomes you to the great outdoors. The safari tour is an exciting way to see the island's interior. You'll visit a waterfall along the tour and one of the highest points on the island. Relaxation comes easy while snorkeling in the safe waters off Rarotonga. And because of several fish preserves around the island, Hundreds of fish will host your visit. If being pampered is more your style, try the numerous resorts which surround Rarotonga, many of which provide spa services. Budget, Avis, and others offer cars, motor scooters, and covered scooters. A local license is required and can be obtained in downtown Avarua for a small fee. No matter what your preference, Rarotonga has it all. From the mountains to the reefs to the great outdoors. Shopping for black pearls is a must here too. A variety of shops offer many sizes, styles, and low prices. If you're planning a wedding, Rarotonga's a honeymooner's paradise. 
And dining out is a surprisingly delicious experience with a variety of choices. Wonderful dinner shows featuring Cook Island dancers flourish several nights a week. Don't miss them. Sunday Church is a wonderful experience, and Cook Islanders welcome visitors to sing along with the choir. The sound is heavenly and worth the visit. Later, a small brunch is served where visitors can meet the local families. A visit to the Cook Islands is not complete without a trip to Aitutaki. This gorgeous atoll has some of the best snorkeling in the world. Since it's completely surrounded by a barrier reef, the lagoon is free of sharks and dangerous fish. Day trips on Air Rarotonga can be arranged by several tour companies and include a tour of the island and a lagoon cruise. Or why not stay several days at one of the relaxing island resorts? You can take a catamaran, a speedboat, or a covered tour boat around the lagoon for a reef tour and stops on several motus, including One Foot Island. Aitutaki is just one of the many fabulous islands in this exotic South Pacific chain. Miss them, and you'll miss the Cook Islands. Upon arrival in Rarotonga, you'll pass through immigration and can quickly pick up your luggage. After customs, all arriving passenger services, including money exchange, are located outside the baggage claim area. Budget and Avis rental cars or hotel and tour transports are near curbside. Taxis pull right up to the curb just outside the baggage claim area. Tourism Authority greeters will answer any arrival questions you have. We hope we have provided you with some helpful information for your arrival. Should you need further assistance, our flight attendants and ground personnel will be pleased to assist you. Mahalo once again for flying Aloha Airlines to Rarotonga International Airport, your gateway to the exciting Cook Islands. We look forward to serving you again on your next trip on Aloha Airlines.